One of the best ways to improve your PvP is to record it and then review it afterwards when you're not stressed and you don't have the adrenaline going and all that stuff. So what you're going to notice when you record your PvP is you're going to start noticing mistakes you're making as well as missed opportunities and ways you could have done things a little bit differently. So if you're interested in improving your PvP, whether it be small gang, fleet, solo PvP, especially solo PvP, then this is one of the fastest ways to do it. Record your fights, review them, look for ways to improve. Now I've made this video before and that was just over two years ago. You can see October 2014. And that video kind of explains everything as to why this, but we're not really interested so much in that right now because this is an update. When I did that video before, they were using OBS Classic. And OBS Classic um, is no longer supported by OBS Project, I guess. And now they're pushing OBS Studio. So OBS Classic's really not getting many updates anymore. OBS Studio is. OBS Studio is much more polished from what I've seen so far. And this is the one you're going to want to go with. So to get OBS, go to obsproject.com and just download it. Once you've downloaded it, make sure you run the 64-bit if you have a 64-bit processor and operating system. Most likely you do, but in case you don't, there's a 32-bit version as well. Um, this is what you're going to see. Black screen, nothing here. Game capture won't be there. I've already set it up and played with it to figure it out. So what you need to do, first thing you need to do, is you need to come here to File and go to Settings. General, it doesn't really matter any of this stuff. You can change some of this. You know, If you're a streamer, your settings are going to be different than mine. Um, you can set all this up. I haven't set up my streaming stuff yet because I haven't streamed in a long time and uh, I have no plans to stream in the future. Um, it's just it wasn't my thing. I didn't really enjoy it. I like kind of being able to get up and go get something to drink or go AFK for a few minutes and that's not very good for people watching live. So for streaming setup, you really don't have to mess with this if you're not streaming. Come over here to recording. And then for recording, you want to make sure that this is on advanced. Output mode, advanced. Next, over here, you want this on standard. You don't want to mess with that. Just standard unless you're like a guru and you know more than me. Um, for recording format, you want to go MP4. You don't have to, but MP4 is really where you want to go, I think. Um, you could go at, uh, any of the other ones, really. Um, I don't know what that is or that. But um, I would avoid FLV. Go with MP4. And if you're going to do game sound plus microphone, do two channels. If you're going to have some comms in there as well, you'd probably want to do three channels. For encoder, this is a big one. Instead of X264, you want to use NVENC. H264. Now the difference there, and if you have an AMD card, graphics card, you're going to have something else there. But the difference is that if you do X264, as I understand it, could be wrong, but as I understand it, X264 uses your uh, CPU on your computer, whereas this NVENC uses your GPU of your video card. So your video card is going to be much more able to handle all this stuff than your CPU and you're going to get much smoother gaming by using your GPU instead of your CPU. This is kind of locked and I would not click rescale. That's the main problem I ran into. Do not rescale and I'll show you where that is. Down here uh, there's not too much to mess with but you want to use rate control of CBR. That's a constant bit rate I believe and bitrate it's really up to you and how much hard drive space you want to use 3000 I would say is your your absolute minimum bitrate I tried 50,000 and it's it's kind of overkill so I'm gonna try 30,000 and see how that does but um, 50,000 was crystal crystal clear um, I you can't tell I mean there's no way I could say that it wasn't the same exact clarity as me actually playing the game it was perfect so what you got to know is that that's going to make a much bigger file 
at um, 50,000 bit rate as opposed to 3,000. Much bigger. So also higher quality. Down here, key rain, uh, key frame interval zero, preset default profile. You can do main here, but I say I think you might as well go with high. Most people's computers these days, you, you can go with high high quality there. Level audio, I did not use two pass encoding. It didn't seem to improve anything when I tried. Um, you can play with it and see what your results are. But for me, it was all good. GPU zero, B frames, I don't even know what that is, but we're gonna leave it at two. And we're gonna click apply. All right, so next, we're gonna go to the audio tab. I would suggest going to 320 on audio for every track you plan on using. The reason for that, or all of them if you want, the reason for that is because you might as well have the highest quality if you're recording direct to your hard disk. Um, if you're streaming, then maybe you want to cut some of the audio back and not have as best as possible. Uh, it just depends on your connection, your computer, all that stuff. Your audio bit rate is so small that it's the least of your concerns. Your video bit rate is going to have a lot more to do with performance than your audio. Audio, I didn't mess with this, although I'm going to have to uh, at some point set up the microphone which uh, because I started OBS before plugging in my microphone I don't think it shows actually it does right there okay so there's my mic audio device <clears throat> I do not have a push to mute or a push to talk that's fine for video this is the big one so what happened when I first installed this and I've had several people tell me they had trouble with OBS and I never knew why until I realized that I was using a different software than they were um, and tried to do it and I had the same problem is the text in EVE is going to be pixelated and a little bit weird and the reason for that is by default this comes at 720 and to do that, it has to use a bi bicubic downscale scale. I'm just messing everything up tonight. Bicubic downscale filter to scale that picture down. And when when it does, it messes up the text. And even though the rest of the quality looks pretty good, the text looks pretty terrible. So you want to make your base and your output exactly the same, so there's no downscaling scaling. I also go with a 60 frames per second because you might as well. Eve's not a real hard game to run or you know intensive game. So you can get away with 60 frames per second here. You could do 30. I would recommend 60. So make sure the biggest thing, make sure these two things are the same. If you don't, then you're going to get weird looking text and kind of grainy graphics that just aren't going to look good in your videos. So FPS 60 hotkeys, I use F9 to start recording and stop recording. You can use what you want. Um, doesn't The rest doesn't really matter unless you really want to get serious about streaming and recording and maybe making a YouTube channel, go for it. Um, whatever you want to do, but just for what we're doing recording our in-game fights, that's going to work. Advanced, I didn't really change much here, I don't think. I leave the process priority, I did, I changed this to 709. Um, I don't know if it really makes any difference, but I think uh, it might make it more high quality. I don't know. You can tell me. I used NV12 here. That was the default. Direct was the default. Uh, process priority. Normal was the default, and I don't think that you should change that. There's no real reason for that to be a high priority process. Um, I did read somewhere that partial here and full It's kind of for higher quality people tend to go with full but a lot of people say that it looks weird so I'm just gonna go with partial because that was default and none of this I mess with I didn't mess with any of that at all so apply okay and then we're done so now the last thing to do is you need to add a capture and I don't know I need to show you how to do it so let's go to add game capture and I'm probably not going to be able to do it because I don't have Eve running so that was a mistake but what you do is you go ahead and you bring it up you can name it whatever you want and then you come here and I run Eve in windowed mode 
Now you may run it full screen. However you do it, choose here, full screen or specific window. I choose specific window because that's what I run. Next, I would come here, it's either, yeah, I would come here to window and I'd click that and let's delete that one. Set that to, it's red because it's not open right now. Um, but I would set that to exe file.exe abaddon21 or whichever character was logged in at that time. I believe if I log in another character it'll still hook this file and still work if I run my alts. I'm not positive, haven't tried it yet, but that's the way it works on OBS Classic. So capture specific window, um, pick the window that you want it to capture, um, you want it to match the executable name and then the rest of this stuff just completely leave it as it is unchecked you don't need it and then you're done and then all you have to do is start recording you can click it right there or you can push F9 if you want to do it the way I do it and then when you're done you push F9 again so as far as your hard drive goes there is one more tip I could give you for for you guys out there who have multiple hard drives so if you have multiple hard drives and they have decent amount of space then one thing you could do is you could change your output and you could change this output here to another hard drive like if you had a, a pretty big SSD you could put it there or if you just have two hard drives you could run the game off one hard drive and then put your video on another hard drive and that's going to make things run a little bit smoother for you but that's pretty much it for settings if you want to get advanced and start doing um, overlays and stuff you do it through here. I haven't figured it out for this one. I imagine it's pretty similar to where you can go in and you can get a browser source and capture something. Um, there's kill overlays for streaming that you can do kind of like that I think. You can put an image, um, a transparent image where the background's transparent and use it as an overlay to have you know the name of your channel or some information about the channel. There's a lot more to that that I'm not really qualified to teach you, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But that's how you set up OBS Studio to record your game, record your PvP, and then be able to review it and get better, and I highly suggest you do.